We got the tier list over here. I mean, we were just talking about Kirby. Do you think he is that low? I would put him above Zelda and Villager. That's <laughs> something. <laughs> I've been playing TM7 Zap and Friendlies lately, and Bowser Jr. is actually kind of like, oh Bro, no. God, yes! <laughs> no, man. It's surprising to me seeing Inkling, specifically Inkling, like this low. This low? I, I thought this was too high, to be honest. <laughs> like, I think Kazuya is at least S tier, but. Man, I know you're spinning. You're, you're spinning, <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Go Talks, guys. It is that day once again. Last episode, you saw that we made our own tier list. <laughs> and whether you guys like it or not, that's another topic, all right? Today, we're reacting to the community-based tier list. As you guys may or may not know, there was a tier list that was uh, sent to different top players. I believe it was around 150 top players. And they all gathered the data, ranking their own characters and whatnot. And we're going to be reacting to it as it is pretty interesting and we actually have a special guest with us a uh, specialist with um you know when it comes to characters frame data and whatnot he is the brains he is the goat <laughs> i'm talking about the boss bro what's up man how you been i'm ready to absolutely just destroy this tier list and everything i see with this because my opinions is better than everyone else's opinions. <laughs> Bro, you're well, gonna bust out. After seeing this, you're yeah. you definitely oh, gonna bust fun. out. Yeah, thanks for having me on this. It's gonna be cool. First thing I wanna ask you is, did you take a look at our tier list? Um, I briefly looked at it. Um, you know, I had some opinions. It's not, it's not the worst. I've seen much worse tier lists from good players. Much worse. Um, I'll take that, I'll there, take there's that. There's a few things where I'm like, all right, you guys don't know. But I'm like, that's fine. that's fine, not everyone knows everything, I get it. There's two things I want to know as well regarding our tier list that I want to ask you, because they were like hot topics with it. Um, the first one is, so what do you think of Incineroar? Is that character actually mid-tier? Uh, I'm so more for scared real. of fighting Incineroar than most characters, so it's like, it depends where you put him, okay, I'll put him in the upper half of the cast, that's why I always say. Okay, okay, I can agree with that. And now what about Kirby? Uh, okay, so the thing is, the thing is, I think the character is bad. I put that character in like bottom ten. <laughs> also, I play characters that don't fight, and Kirby fights. I, I look at him and I go, "I'm just gonna time you out." Like I have no shame, right? Uh, if you no have shame, shame yeah. if you want to fight him, he's good. Yeah, that is uh, true. okay. I guess I never thought about it that way. <laughs> I guess that does <laughs> yeah, make it pretty garbage. Purging it, man. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, the other thing is, do you think Kirby is better than Sheik, bro? Bruh. <laughs> the action is like, bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> because I didn't realize this, but apparently in our tier list, we put Kirby higher than Sheik. And this Lo wasn't intentional, but we just did. <laughs> yeah, that no. wasn't intentional, but, but Mitki, Mitki. Like, it could be, right? Yeah. Mid could mid be. No, no. Like, like, listen, I'm not a Sheik believer. I, I do not believe in the character at all. Me neither. Yeah. Me but neither. like, Kirby above Sheik. Yo, y'all are on something good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you're right about that. Um, <laughs> all right, so with that said and with that out of the way, we got the tier list over here. Um, do you all have it? Are you all seeing uh, it? Yep, yeah, I do see okay, it. Okay, so the first thing is Ganon is the worst character in the game, according to every person who answered this yeah. survey. And uh, do you agree with that? Do you all agree with that? Bro, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah. It's like, sure, I, I, it's Ganondorf, you know? He's meant like, to be a bad character, I think. Like, who could it be? Little Mac? Bro, you scared of fighting Little Mac. We were talking about it, Meister, the Bro. other day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, K-Roll and B is, Mac. like, weird. Like, I guess Ganondorf is the worst <laughs> out of those four. But anybody could be yeah. the worst out of those four, I think. Mm, I don't know about that <laughs> one. I don't know about that. I, I, I'm a believer in Little Mac low-key. I low-key think he's not awful, but... Uh, Me too. I think yeah, Little Mac's... Look, it's like Ganon, he doesn't rush you down, bro. He doesn't have KO Punch. What is he going to do? You know? Like, he's just scary, but he he's still bad, bro. Like, it's just scary, but it's still bad. That's if you're playing bad, you're going to lose to, like, those characters like Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. So you can't yeah. be playing bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then we also have, uh, well, we actually have Kirby in, like, garbage tier almost. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we were just talking about Kirby. Do you think he is that low on the tier list? Yeah. Uh he said bottom ten and that's top eight, right? That's bottom eight. Yeah, like yeah. okay, okay, I'll give Kirby some I'll give Kirby some credit. I would put him above Zelda and Villager. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean it's not much, but I guess I will take it. <laughs> yeah, no, listen, I just think 
not enough people have seen the potential of the character. Gilhu literally just won a tournament over uh, Sky J, beating him twice, and Cosmos this past weekend. Save your memes about that. I don't care. <laughs> Cosmos still. Bro, listen. Bro, bro come on. It wasn't necessary. Bro, because like. Your memes. It's Aegis Kirby, man. Like, how do you lose that, you know? But, like, at the same time, I can see it. Like, it's not... Loki, it's not that bad of a matchup <sighs> okay. for Kirby. I, I can kind of see it because... Bro, okay, so I was playing um, JJ, JJ as Kirby in a coin box, right? Bro, that character's stupid sometimes. I got down to yeah. the mid-screen as Mimin, right? On Hall Bastion. Literally at zero. It trips me, and he gets a full combo off that carries me off stage and kills me. From zero. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I got down to the mid screen, bro. That's how it be yeah. with like a lord. That's that's what EQ does. That makes a city. Like that's <laughs> why we're like, yeah. bro. Like that character is. Mm -hmm, mm. Yeah, I remember uh, Leo actually when he played in the first time here in Mexico. He was like, "Oh yeah, I have to fight Kirby. Like it's not gonna be that hard." I'm and gonna then SDI. It was game five. I'm gonna SDI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, "I'm gonna SDI," and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and like he got caught by everything, and he was like, "Never mind, this character's kind of cracked, yeah. bro." Like, oh my god, this character's kind of cracked, bro. <laughs> <It's> crack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, yeah, that's that's the Kirby life, I guess. It's just no one knows the true potential of Kirby until they play a good one. But there's like mm -hmm. only two, yeah, top level Kirby's in my opinion right now. So yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things that happens with every character where I feel like Ultimate came out, and a lot of characters everyone said is bad. So most people said we're not gonna play the bad character, right? And now a lot of these characters like Kirby that we think are really bad, like one or two players are like, maybe he's not. And now we're realizing we're all very wrong about the character. Yeah. 100%. Okay, Dr. Mario is not that bad either. Loki, like, I'm not saying he's not on the same level as Kirby potential, but Loki, he deserves to be Bro. at least where Mewtwo's at. No, I agree, actually. I, I don't know why Doc is that low. Like, yeah, he's a bad matchup, but every character has bad matchups. The thing is, some of these characters don't have good matchups. Doc has some good matchups. So yeah. I kind of agree. I want to talk about another character actually here that I I put a super low and I think I was super wrong to do it. Because mm -hmm. I've been playing uh I've been playing TM7 Zap and Friendlies lately, and Bowser Jr. is oh. actually kind of good. <gasps> oh Bro, my no. God, yes. <laughs> no, oh my yes. God. Yes. Okay, let me let me hear the boss thoughts. Like why? Okay, okay. So you know what I found out recently? First of all, this character hits like a truck, right? Like he will kill you at 60. And he mm -hmm. does, he, dude, he'll up throw you, up air, up air, fast fall, up air, up air, back air, 70 damage. Yeah, yeah, 70. It's crazy. And like, like doesn't matter, doesn't matter what SDI is, what character you're playing, you just take 70. And then like, he can kill you, side B, up B. Um, mm -hmm. Just hitting you with a random forward smash with no lag. But dude, no, I'll fight him. And you know what he does, he does side B. The side B has almost 11% armor on it. So if you have yeah. a move that does a less than 11% damage, he can armor through it, depending on the spacing. So I'll be like, up smash, I up smashed him as Rosa. And he armored through the up smash. Uh, on a kill move. Uh, that's so it's air, it's Sonic Spin Dash with armor. And it's that's a kill move. Uh, what did you just say? What did you say? Repeat that. I should repeat that. Sonic Spin Dash with armor. Whoa, oh, I, there's bro, a video. That is crazy. That is okay. I'm sorry, bro. I, I apologize to you. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Mister. Thank you. Uh, next Mister time I see Tweak, I'm gonna be like, bro, we were wrong. Like, bro. Oh my god. That was, you gotta know the context of this, okay? <laughs> I don't so know if you watched it or not. But the thing is, we had a hot takes video, and <laughs> one of my hot takes was Bowser Jr. is literally Walmart version Sonic, right? <laughs> and they they both Tweak and Leo were like, how so? Like it's not that same on Shield. I'm like, no, it's because you guys have not played a good uh Bowser Jr. <laughs> and my opinion comes from playing Sap as well. Because I've Whoa, been playing that guy that a lot as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he's pretty good. He, he's he really knows good. his yeah. stuff, yeah. you know? Like well, yeah. he, he does it like a truck. It's hard to punish side B on shield, and then he could just up B as well if mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. if he oh shield it. So yeah, there's so much stuff. That my I'm apologies. Like, yeah, you, you're gonna, bro. Thank you, <laughs> bro. If you run into a zap in tournament, don't look at this guy and go, oh, it's just it's just Bowser Junior. Yeah. No, no, yeah. don't sleep on. I'm that gonna man. ask you two for advice. I'm gonna be like, all right, bro, give me yeah. everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah, like, that guy's oh, good. That guy's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, Bowser Junior definitely very very low on this list in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I would risk it putting him at like where Sheik is at right now on this tier list at least. Like at the very least, in my opinion. I could see honestly, I could where is Sheik exactly? I can't Bro, find you guys are B plus capping now. B plus. You know, I could see a future long term about I could see I could see it. I could see the vision. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's gonna happen <laughs> soon, like tomorrow. Yeah, but no, yeah. no, 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 no. 
No, oh. once Jack starts traveling, though, people will see the light. Until then, until then, sure, put him bottom tier, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay with that, too, yeah. Then, uh, I don't know, do you guys have any other characters over here on the D tier that you guys want to talk about? Do you think are too low, too high? I don't know how they, they could be too high, but still. I don't know how Mewtwo is this high. I, I, I put Mewtwo, like, in E tier, to be fair. I put him, like, with, like, K roll. I think Mewtwo is pretty bad. Wait, how so? No. On, I just feel like the thing on Mewtwo is, yeah, he hits you hard. He's fast, sure. But, like, if you understand how his, like, risk-reward works, like his mix-ups, you pretty oh. much with every character out, like, out-reward hitting him, right? Like, his damage oh. output does not equal out to how easy it is to kill him because he's such an easy character to combo, keep him disadvantage, etc. So, like, I think he's awful. I, I would definitely – oh, maybe not, like, next to K roll in, like, a D to D, but, like, <laughs> you know Doc is? You can oh, yeah. Loki. Well, you know what? When you put it that way, I guess you do have a point. Because, like, I do think he's pretty easy to ledge trap and, like, two frame especially. He's so easy to two frame. Um, I think the biggest thing is what you're talking about, like, the risk reward. Because yeah. I think Mewtwo mains, once they stop all being into center stage and then doing an immediate F tilt, they'll do better. But it's still <laughs> not enough. Like, yeah. I do. <laughs> There's yeah. more mix ups. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. it's not enough. Yeah. I would put DK and Isbo tiny bit higher, but I don't really like not much higher. Yeah, probably like a C minus, C plus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, can, I can agree with that. Uh, what about you, Lil? Do you have any uh, any takes? I see Ike is pretty Ike, low in here. Do you yeah. agree with that? I I was gonna say maybe just change Ike to D plus C minus, but <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie, Ike is kind of. It's kind of where he deserves to be, so yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess yeah. Ike is Ike at the end of the yeah, day. He yeah, he is Ike. Yeah. They, 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 they thought they buffed him. They did not. I, that's what I was actually going to ask. I was going to ask. Do you guys think um, pre patch Ike was better than post patch? Oh my god, bro! Like, like if we had if we still had that neutral air and those confirms, mm. he would still be a decent character. Yeah. Not amazing anymore. Now, now the, the characters that got released in this game, sure, but like. He would be that, a decent character because that move was better that than like was, most that nair was dub, yeah. If you got hit by that nair, like certain stages, let's say forty percent, there are some characters that got nair nair up there and like died at forty percent, like Smash mm -hmm. Ball, mm -hmm. Battlefield. It was so broken. It was like a base knockback. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> like, I would, like like Omar as well. Like yeah, 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 was, yeah. I remember and like it was, <laughs> like, it, it was super yeah. safe on parry like it didn't really matter what you did it just it kind of just outspaced everything too the only thing that got better was a beat but uh, ike is not gonna yeah. spam a beat bro that move if you get I, hit I by it like multiple times yeah. 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 yeah yeah uh poor ike um now let's move on to the c tier because i mean let's be honest no one cares about robin <laughs> no one cares about zelda clearly <laughs> so yeah. yeah let's just move on to the c tiers um Wait. What is so, Duck Hunt doing down there? Hold up. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold, there, there, there is a serious problem. I am a Duck Hunt believer, to be fair. But there is a, there is no way people are thinking he's worse than Banjo, Weefit, Ridley, and Luffy. <laughs> Bro, yeah, that character's not bad. Th that character is low-key insane, but, like, no one really wants to play him like that. Yeah, I mean, he is pretty not interesting. <laughs> like, I, I'm a Doctor <laughs> Believer, too. But when I spectate that character, uh, no. I'd rather go to yeah. bed, man. Like, come on. Yeah, he's not. He's off most people, right? But like, <laughs> it, it's funny. Yeah. I, I guess it's funny. It's not entertaining. It's not hype. But it's funny, bro. Like, it he is, is a funny character. He's pretty goofy and whatnot. So, I guess. You know? Uh, yeah. 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 I guess that makes him not that bad to uh, watch sometimes. You know, I love when I love when people get hit by side B into side B side B. Like the thing that he can do with the with this with the mm -hmm, disc mm -hmm. that's so broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just Combo, true. Up airs and you're just dead. Or you take like seventy. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. one can the down B down B works so broken. I've seen I've seen Dahan like games where like Dahan player just like down B's and it stops anything that comes out from like the opponent. Like mm -hmm. he yeah. uses as like. It's like a pigman sometimes, but it's yep, a yep. lot better, right? Like I know Samus Duck Hunt's like borderline unwinnable for Samus, I think, just because of that. Or in the camp. Really? Because Charger oh. just gets blocked. You just kind of hide behind it. And like while you're putting something to block Charger out, you're throwing out other projectiles because you're Duck Hunt. So you always have like projectile advantage in the projectile yeah. zoning matchup. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Yeah. That does sound pretty bad, actually. Like, oh my God. And um, yeah. He does very good against a lot of zoners and like characters like... 
Diddy Kong, like maybe I heard Tweak saying that that's one of oh, his yeah, worst it's matches. Oh, yeah, pretty bad. Like, yeah, yeah, rough. And I imagine, like, if he does that to Diddy Kong, he does that to a bunch of characters. Like, didn't uh, didn't Tweak also lose to a uh, big Duck on fan at Gummo? Yeah, last year? exactly. Oh, and well. like, and like, he's even good versus like Sephiroth because you think, okay, Diddy's not great in the matchup, Sephiroth, but no, he has really good combos, especially on like already bigger characters. Mm-hmm. Um. I think he's just weird to control. Like, I've tried playing him. I actually kind of like him, but he's so weird to move around with the character and do stuff that you have to, like, you actually have to solo main him just to, like, be comfortable with that stuff, like his movement. He does feel pretty weird. I, I mean, when I get him and, like, when I'm playing random, because honestly, I would never pick Duck Hunt, but, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but whenever I have to play as Duck Hunt, like, whenever I even jump, like, try to short hop or anything, it, the character does feel weird. He has, like, I don't know what his data, like frame data is with like his drift and whatnot, but like it does feel like really weird sometimes. Yeah, I don't know either. Also, I'm, honestly, I'm so used to like different up Bs that I always S you with his up B because I always think I have to like hold it because with all of them, I have to hold his up B, right? So when I hold it with Duck Hunt, it like, I accidentally like hold it too long and then it'll just like fall out of it and die and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Uh, now the next character, I don't know about you guys. Well, I want to hear this from the bus actually. So the buzz, what's your take on Lucario? Because I know a certain top player at Tweak that thinks he's pretty good. So what do you think? Uh, I think that character is awful. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I didn't realize he wasn't in the tier below. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, huh, that's strange. <laughs> Did they misplace yep. Lucario or something? No, but I, I like, I look at him and I just think nowadays, if you're not playing a good character, Lucario is really good, right? Because the... The weaker characters in this game struggle to hit kills consistently. Yeah. But, like, we're in year five of Ultimate, whatever it is. Like, people over here playing this game are probably playing good characters at this point. And Lucario is not hanging with, like, the top tiers, even high tiers. Yeah. No. He is not. So, I think he's really bad in that context. Yeah, Lucario's pretty terrible, honestly. He's a character that relies on losing, too. So, like... Yeah, uh, yeah. You have to lose, but not lose too hard. You know, you got, you got, you got <laughs> how hard you can lose that match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, Incineroar is also there. Yeah. Why? Why? Timer's being higher than Incineroar. Well, yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't know about that. It, 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 kind of cheesy, yeah. Thing. But yeah, bro, Incineroar. Right next to the I just say real quick, I'm bro, so happy everyone put Krom this low. Because I told people for years, guys, Krom ain't it. I told him. People didn't believe me. But now um, everyone's like, Oh, Krom yeah, is fine. Krom is... Bro, yeah. bro, Krom is not where Pichu is. Pichu, Pichu's Pichu is worse bad. than Krom. I will yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Mm, yeah, they're, they're close enough in my opinion. Okay, but don't you guys think Incineroar should be at least in like B plus? Bro, you know <laughs> like, I think Incineroar least... should be should be A minus, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loki, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High key, yeah. Dude, he has three kill throws too. I, I don't think <laughs> anyone thinks about this either. I forgot... We forgot to talk about this with Incineroar on the last video, <laughs> but he has he has three kill throws, and then you get revenge. It's like they kill so early. Like why? Mm-hmm. Bro, you know? I always say he's also. I always say he's such a small character relative to his weight. Like he's yeah. easy enough to combo, yeah, but like he's not like getting comboed like TK or Bowser, mm-hmm. despite being their weight and hitting as hard, if not harder than them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm like. That's awkward. Like especially like his hurtbox shit thing is weird. Like Nair, yeah. bro, he does the freaking like. Like plain dive thing with his nair, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, you are now the th- like a pancake her box. Mm-hmm. I hate his recovery actually being good, bro. The amount of times I've seen his sky J just like up being to the ledge, and people trying to edge guard him and dying at like below fifty, mm-hmm. bro. Dude, it's so sad. Yeah, because yeah. like, because like, what else do you do? You do you be like, okay, yeah, make it back on stage. Like, no worries, it's free. Like, of course, like, people are trying to like. Punish it at least once until they died at zero. But but bro, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. still that's still kind of fucked up. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about this as well. You guys know how like Little Mac, he can outside B if he gets hit off stage, but then Incineroar can keep doing it. Like yep. life is not fair. Life is just not <laughs> <Yeah>. fair. <laughs> like, it's not fair, man. It's it's so stupid though. Like yeah. I don't I don't get it. Why would you take it away from poor Little Mac? But then Incineroar, oh. Side B, man. Off yeah. stage. Right? Oh, you know, like, uh, come on. And there's a character that Leo believes in um, that is pretty low, in my opinion. And I agree with him on this. Uh, Leo Bowser is in C. Plus. C, plus, bro. That's. But, like, at the very end, too. Yeah, that is. 
I mean, yeah, I see everybody like above Bowser, and I'm I'm like, yeah, maybe maybe we're <laughs> maybe a little bit, right? Yeah, you know, like maybe don't belong in there, but like, bro, Bowser's so weird because like I'm pretty sure like I'm not the only one that sees him this way. But like, for example, I play Violet, I play Py Pyra, for example, and I see Bowser, and I'm like, bro, it's like, why the f is Bowser faster than like Violet? Mm -hmm. Dude yep. literally does the same thing. It's like he has big range, his nair combos into. Like, you can auto-cancel back here from a short hub. Side B is ridiculous. Oh. Neutral B deals a lot of damage. Bro, sometimes mm -hmm. you can be like, oh, sh jump, 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 jump. And then Neutral B, that's like your mix-up. What, what are people going to be like if they're trying to approach and like, oh, you Neutral B? They either get sh the, the shield stuff or they get 40%. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, fair is very good. It hits below. It hits behind Bowser. <laughs> uh, every single Bowser player, bro, is like down B or down air. Why would you down B or down air? Like, <laughs> like in this advantage, uh -huh. like not even characters like Zero Pseudo Sheik that are like this size do it. Why would Bowser do it? Like, bro, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, why don't you just space your back air, nair, or fair? Like, that oh, is man. huge. Don't, don't, don't teach him the secrets, man. Don't. No, no, yeah, no, no, it's no, huge. No. <laughs> <laughs> But no, uh, up out of shield is ridiculous. That that deals a lot of damage, bro. Like oh, shield yeah, break setups, sick. like yeah. Mm -hmm. bro. Like yeah, Bowser mm -hmm. is no, looking I, good. I, I, Neutral be dealing forty. Yeah. Oh, dude. So when you get killed by like a, a side beat suicide because they have a stock lead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And it's yeah, like, he is pretty good at two framing too. F tilt, down tilt, the jab, bro. Like his horbuck shifting with F tilt and jab. Like sometimes you're like, bro, why didn't I f grab Bowser's jab? <laughs> that's crazy and then you yeah. get Saibi and you get oh. 24 <laughs> yeah it deals a little damage oh my god we love nice. that. okay well Pichu Loki Pichu deserves to be in like the D tier I think the character's bad bad Ooh. bad no way Ooh, he's I, like the same level I'm, as I'm, the I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna say this right now that's a Game & Watch player take I'm sorry no that's how I used to main Pichu and then he got <laughs> destroyed take I'm I don't know. I don't, I don't think Pichu. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue Pichu above where he is. I'm gonna argue for Pichu staying where he is and saying, oh. "This is fine. This is this, <laughs> nice. this shit is perfect for him." Oh, man, <laughs> right, maybe <laughs> right next to Sidera and Crom, bro. I think that's Cap. Like those four characters, even Marth, like could be better than Pichu. Like okay, well, well Sidera should be higher, but I, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it's like when I see Pichu, I'm just like, dude, I get hit by something and like. He can just convert that into so much damage, but since he's so fast and small, like he he's forced to get hits in. Yeah, he has to find an opening or he's gonna lose the game. But he's so fast that's hard to like wall him out consistently. Mm -hmm. And even one mistake, like the good Pichu players with the drag downs, with like the you know like the up tilt thunders, up air thunders. Like there's a lot of bullshit. He's not a good character if you don't have the bullshit down. But like if you do, uh, okay. you 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 lose stocks where you're like, no, the character would have killed me. Off of like f landing there mid screen at zero, but he just did that. Kill power is also still pretty good, and he does that bullshit like you're saying. So I guess maybe I'll agree. <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's like I've I've seen it. I've like fought against it before, and I'm always like, I'm way too scared of the character from the be a bad character. <laughs> yeah, he does scare me too, and my matchup's good. So like, yeah, that is true. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, moving on to the B tier. All right, Captain Falcon, someone has to get him down from there. I don't know who yeah. thought Captain Falcon's <laughs> great in there. Like, bring a ladder because we got to get him out of there. Like, oh, my God. Like, come on. He's not no. He's not good. He's not a good character. Oh, my God. No, I, I so agree. Like, C tier, maybe, maybe low key top of D tier, right? Maybe. Yeah. And this B minus, like, we see a, a lot of controversial characters. Like, yeah. Who, who thinks, like, I don't know, for example, what do you guys think of Pit? I do think Pit is... It's not oh. B minus. No, mm -hmm. he's probably in like almost A minus. Almost. Yeah. Another no, one. you don't think so? Another no. one might be Toon Link for me. I feel like Toon Link is still an explorer character. I don't think he will. Oh, Toon Link is, is a B lot minus, better than sorry. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toon Link is a lot better than that for sure. Yeah. Of course, Violet. I think Violet belongs in there. Violet Loki sucks with the footstool <laughs> meta stuff that they've been discovering. But bro, Meta Knight and Inkling. I don't know what you guys think about like neutral based characters, but it's surprising to me seeing Inkling, specifically Inkling, like this low. Mm. Oh. This low? I, I thought this is too high. Like, to at honest. least B plus, bro. Yeah. Like, no. like Inkling, Inkling, stop violent, mm. I guess. Like, uh, why is Inkling? 
there. It's like, I don't know. I feel like if I had Inkling, you just kind of like, the characters anti are stink. Like if you're just jumping above the character and like platform camping. Yeah. It's like Inkling can't deal with like super lame platform. I, I, I think Inkling's really bad to be fair, but like the character just doesn't deal with platform camping, doesn't trade well, doesn't have threatening like hitbox is really good sdi makes a lot of their combos not good like if you just sdi a lot of the stuff away their damage output's low and i feel like they're annoying but i never fight an and go oh i'm scared i'm just like oh i'm annoyed yeah it's just annoying <laughs> yeah. it's like it's yeah. like fighting diddy kong i feel like that's why i said that like neutral based characters right like you're not scared mm-hmm. of anything or like i guess diddy kong has like his setups blah 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 like that's that's like there's a reason why he's better but inkling i don't know bro like if you play like a character that struggles against let's say heavy neutral characters it's, it's kind of tough mm-hmm. like for me with swords like yeah i i i, was, I, I would pace inkling but i still find myself trolling like getting the stock like playing neutral sometimes like getting less trapped so uh, maybe um, not I, too cheesy, i think but... um another thing that i wanted to like mention with like neutral based characters is that like for example diddy kong i think gets a lot out of winning neutral but then like inkling and meta knight don't really get much like inkling will get some jabs it'll get like hmm. A grab, yeah. maybe. And for Meta Knight, it's even worse. Because with Meta Knight, it's like, okay, he'll get his dash attack or down throw at low percents. And you might die yeah. if you get cheats. Yeah. But, but then after that, it's like... Yeah, exactly. After yeah. that, it's like, well, he's pretty limited to what he gets out of neutral. Like, they are pretty neutral-based characters, but they don't get much out of winning yeah. neutral either. So. I guess yeah. Meta Knight does get more, but in my opinion, Meta Knight is worse than Inkling. Like, yeah. as yeah. the neutral-based yeah. character. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Meta Knight's... Uh, he he doesn't have a good neutral as a thing. Like Meta Knight just is neutral should be better than actually is. I feel like also mm-hmm. since you mentioned this, like I feel like Pit goes into the same category of not getting enough off winning neutral. Like how Inkling doesn't either. Where it's like, yeah, the neutral's fine, but like who cares? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real. Because it's like, ah, you get jab and now you're inked. And what every inkling main says, they're like, yeah. oh yeah, ink makes it so that you deal more damage. It's like, okay, try to get a hit after you get the ink. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, I, I, I am air camping. You brought Blah from camping. We'll, we'll, we'll play <laughs> yeah. in 15 seconds, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got a timer on this. It also doesn't help that most inkling players just play neutral by trying to spam back air. And it's like, yeah, bro, mm. that, that's another topic, right? That's yeah. inkling players. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that, uh, that thing stales and it deals like what seven? <laughs> like oh wow, seven. Oh wow, wow, wow. Does, doesn't even combo like zero percent. You need like some percent on it, but like, right. like if you like SDI, like the initial hit back here can be kind of hard for them to get combos. And like you can turn their own combo starter into a mix up at certain percents where they have to guess: Are you going to spot the or mash? I don't know. Great thing. Um, let's see who else yeah. we got here. Honestly, so... this entire section is weird to me. This entire B minus section. Because I don't agree with a single character in this at all. <laughs> I don't think I do either, to be fair. <laughs> uh, Rosa, I'm pretty sure you would put her at like E tier, right? The boss, you, you always say that about Rosa. I would probably put her like A minus at this point. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, she, yeah. she has a really good matchup spread with some really bad matchups, but who does not in Ultimate? Unless yeah. you're like S tier. Unless you're Steve. Ha 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 ha. Um, yeah, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, I, you said you're not a pit, a pit, a pit believer. Why is that? No, the thing about the character is his neutral is fine. He has these hitboxes, but you he like is fine versus characters that play the game. And when you fight characters that don't play the game, right? They just kind of like run away the entire match or have some really like ridiculous like gimmick. Mm. He just gets out like character. Like his damage output's mm-hmm. good. It's not amazing. His kill power, it's it's okay. And honestly, he's a little bit subpar even with his confirms. Um, his hitboxes are like decent. Frame data is decent, but like there's nothing. You don't have a great way to like win with him. So when you fight characters with really polarizing strengths, they can kind of fight Pit on their terms, which is bad for Pit. So I don't know. He, he obviously will run the character, yada yada. Um, I think having Pit or Dark Pit helps because some matchups like Dark Pit's really good and vice versa. Mm. But it's like he's never a good pick really into good characters. Yeah, so, I can understand that actually. Yeah. And I love playing. I, I've tried to make this character work. I love playing him. And I'm just always just like, why bother with the time? <laughs> <laughs> he does feel like that character too because of what you're saying. Like He just gets out character by a lot. Like just a lot in general in Ultimate. He doesn't have yeah. Ultimate in him, you know? Like Yeah. yeah. It's going to be really funny if I say all these things and I lose to Zachary's Pit of Genesis. I was I'm, about to say. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Wait, do you have to play Zachary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Then that'd be really the funny. Yeah, I feel like I'm selling myself for, for like no, no, like shows the light, bro. Pod armor right now. We believe. No, we believe. <laughs> <laughs> good vibes. Oh, well, Manifesting yeah. good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Manifesting good vibes. <laughs> All right. Um, well, moving on to B plus. Um, I don't know what you guys think about Luigi, but I think Luigi's at least a minus. Like at the end of a minus. You know, I do. I could agree, but again, bro, I think Luigi dies too easily off stage. Like, uh, probably because I'm Joker, right? But bro, every single time I put him off stage at like forty, it's, it's done. Like, mm-hmm. I can do so many things. And Rob, Ooh. Diddy, like Snake, Sonic, Game and Watch, bro, mm. like. Luigi struggles a lot off stage, and like I feel like there's a lot of setups that you can get by, that you can get hit by, like within like certain situations where like oh you either jump in front of him, you jump hit by fair and air, maybe like you f- it up off stage. I mean on the ledge, but like I feel like once you get down, like how he wants to grab you, because like it's not like he's just gonna like oh you hit my shield, I grab. He's always gonna try to set up, right? It's kind of like a read. Oh, you either land in front of him or like you do you do something stupid. It's stupid. He grabs you, right? It's it's a read. I play with Lo a lot, and like he's always going for the grab read. Like it's not like Luigi would just grab you. So if you play around that, there's also a lot of characters that can play around it. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if you know how to abuse Luigi off stage, it's it's done. I wouldn't give him mm. the 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 B the, the A minus. I think he belongs to B. Yeah, I think Amos is fair. He's weird. I, I, I don't care about Luigi. I look at the character and go, <laughs> he's really easy to fight. I don't see how people lose him. And then I see people lose him like at like high and top level. And I'm like, um, and I, I get it though, right? Because yeah. like he, I, I made like a video on him on my YouTube like a couple weeks ago. I remember one thing that's a really big deal about the character is that he, unlike a lot of characters like say Kirby, Incineroar, um, like those super like slower characters hit really hard. He has really big jumps. So you mm. can't just air camp. You can't just go, whoosh, I'm out of your range because he can chase that super easily. And then he has fireball and Zare to control space. So it's like he kind of has like other options in neutral besides just like hoping you mess up. Like he can, he actually can force things with his jump height, with his projectile control. So he's not bad, even though he should be. Like his offstage game is awful. His landing game is awful. And then he down bees because you guessed it wrong and you're a disadvantage. <laughs> and yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm personally really good for some. I also play Rose, so that doesn't help. But I kind of see it. I kind of see, like, why he should be higher up. Uh, the thing for me as to why I would put him higher is because, like, the the reward he gets out of getting one simple read is, like, like if you get grabbed by Luigi, sometimes it's your fault. Most of the times, to be fair. <laughs> but... Does that mean you deserve to die at any percent out of him? Because, like, it's not even deserve to that. He has a confirm at any percent out of a yeah. grab. Mm-hmm. And, like, grabs are pretty, pretty good in, in a game yeah. like Smash. So, I don't he know. He has no flag on his grab. I, that, too. Like, and when he tries to camp with Zare, it's, like, minus two. Like, mm-hmm, who, mm-hmm. who thought that was good? Like, minus two? <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, like, that's, no. that's not it, man. But mm-hmm. I think that's why I would put him higher. But I do agree that killing him off stage is pretty easy, like really, really easy. So I don't know. I do think if they recover low, however, there's sometimes where I'm like, it's the same thing as Incineroar. I'm like, oh, he's not gonna make it back, and then he does, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, his ledge snap is crazy on that, and it's it's so fast. You're not reacting to that, but you have to read the timing. Which yeah, makes it hard. Yeah, to yeah. exactly. And then uh, well, we have Sheik. Uh, Someone get the ladder again, because like I'm gonna have to get Sheik down from there. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I, not a Sheik believer. You said it yourself, the boss. Why? Why is it? I want to hear it from you. We've been getting roasted for this, like both Leo and I. So oh my god, I always tell people that. I mean, Grant, I've always been good for Sheik. I've lost to like Sheik like maybe three times. They're like all Smash Brothers. Um, the thing about the character is like, yeah, her neutral is good. But if you SCI a lot of her stuff, she doesn't get great reward off neutral. She requires specific starters in neutral to get damage. Like, you, have, if you know what she's looking for, because she's not getting, like, a lot of damage off, like, random grabs and forward throws, right? Or, like, mm. and forward tilts. Like, she needs a specific, like, grab with this percent, forward toe that percent, falling arrow this percent. Oh, she needs to hit needles bouncing fish in this position. So, like, when you know what she's looking for, a lot of her setups are, like, really linear. And then in a game like Ultima, where every character is just mashing with billions of damage, you literally, when you're next to Sheik, press buttons. Just, just press buttons. I, mm-hmm. I, I swear, if you just press buttons mindlessly, you'll hit her, and you'll not <laughs> treat her a lot, and you'll kill her before she kills you. Yep. So, yep, yep, yep. 
Damn. Yep. Yeah. She's sure. She's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, that, really that's bad. It? Yeah. Chic. I was going to say poor Chic, but low key, I'm a little traumatized from Smash 4. That character was messed up. So, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine with her being bad in this game. I, I, I remember, appreciate it. Remember down throw up air 50 50 at like 100? Oh, yeah. Up throw up air at like 140. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like Incineroar, bro, but every single throw put you in a 50 50. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm one of the best throw games in the game. Yeah. And also, even, like, ba- even back throw could like sometimes put you there. Oh, set up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Back throw and read either high, low, bouncing fish. Yeah. For me, it was the needle camping, honestly. She could just needle camp and deal some damage. Oh, I remember the one time I lost the void in Smash 4 was uh, he was playing perfect with needle camping. Like, perfect. And I'm like, I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't do yeah. This yeah. Is one button. Yeah, she could just do that and you're f- Like, you couldn't do anything about it. So, yeah. I'm glad that in this game... Needles still go like pretty far, but not across the stage like mm-hmm. in Smash 4. Mm-hmm. So not tumbling you at 2% either. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm okay with her being bad. Now, Olimar, the boss, uh, do he, you agree? He sh- I think that character is garbage when you know how to fight. I think, this is the thing. Olimar is a great character until top level because people make mistakes. Olimar kills you for mistakes. Like not just damages. No, he kills you for every little mistake you make. Mm-hmm. But... When you don't make mistakes for him, he doesn't have the ability to like force things. Like he's slow, he's floaty. His frame data is good, but like you can just kind of lame him out really hard. Yeah. You can play around the fact that like when he, even when he has purples, he's very linear, right? Because oh, he has purples. So what do he's gonna do with them? You know, his grab range is short, his smashes are short with them. You only have side B really and like good aerials. Oh, he doesn't have purples. I guess he's not gonna be scary if he hits me now. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. there's yeah. too much negatives to each like the fact that you can play around Olimar's lineup, he's too fragile, he's too slow, but he mostly just loses to how many good characters in this game can play lame. Like, if this was a game with a lot of more, like, fighting characters, right? Like, let's say you remove Steve Sonic, and like you just don't have those in the game. Suddenly, I think he gets a lot better, right? Because then you have a game where a lot more characters that, like, get up close in your face are, like, good. Yeah. But when everyone's just platform camping you, He's he can't do it. I see. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. I mean, he does have to play shoot on, so there you go. Mm, <laughs> oh, yeah, there, yeah, no, no. If, if you play shoot on, literally just like don't interact with him if you don't want to. Olimar can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. I, I'm a big Olimar doomer to be fair, but um, so yeah, I don't know. All right, Ben. All right. Well, um, be- before we move on to A, I'm sorry, Meister. I just yeah. want to mention that Sephiroth should now be there. Guys, please let's step it up. And Sephiroth is a high tier, at least. Please, guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, please, he's guys. He's one of the polarizing characters. I agree. Mm. He's, he's, so, he's, he's so good. Like, he has some bad matchups, but bro. But he's good. Like, if your character doesn't destroy Sephiroth, he's so hard to fight. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, mine does pretty well against Sephiroth, so yeah, okay. He's very polarizing. I I think yeah. he's like a amazing like secondary duo main character. Mm, yeah, maybe I am biased in this. So G2 I'll leave it up biased. to you guys. Yeah, <laughs> and Tweak yeah. Tweak is absolutely insanely gigantically biased with Sephiroth. Like, why does Tweak <laughs> think he's like Sephiroth is bad, bro? He's just playing wrong. Like, Sephiroth is good. I mean, it's it's like. He also plays him another character, and it's kind of hard. Oh, yeah. Because, like, he needs to have your heart, like, in Sephiroth, like, fully playing him, and I don't feel like he does ever. Mm-hmm. Wait, do we, we just <laughs> skip over Falco, by the way? What do you guys think of Falco? I have to ask. Um, gimmick after gimmick, that's it. <sighs> really? Like, I think he's fine where he's at. I would put him even, like, maybe in B- minus where Captain Falcon's at. But I don't know. Well, I do think my character destroys him a little bit, and maybe that's why I don't think of him too well, but... I also feel like playing around his stuff is not that hard. Like, as long as you don't get, like, uh, up tilted at a high percent. It's just so easy to tell what he wants to do, basically, is where I'm getting mm. around with this. Mm. Like, you know when he's going to try to grab you. You know when he's going to try to, like, either down tilt or up tilt you. And then, well, in my case, this, this is matchup specific. But in my case, if he laser camps, I can just crouch. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's fair. I don't know. I, I see the character. And I'm like, I feel like you know what he's going to do. But, like, it's hard to punish it. Like, up tilt is hard to punish. Like, laser camping is pretty safe. Wait, do you think like, up tilt's hard to punish? Because, like, if he spaces it right, like, obviously his anti-air, it's insane. Like, it's not much lag on it. 
And like if he's like kind of max spacing up tilt like as a grounded combo starter, mm. it can be a little bit hard to punish for a lot of characters. Like if you don't have like a really good out shield option. Yeah. Because the hitbox goes pretty far in front of him. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I and guess then, it's because like, I always have B it or grab it. So, yep. yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, if it's yeah. point blank, it's grabbable, sure. Yeah. And then, like, you can mix up, like, you know, maybe he'll, like, grab you or, like, do, like, a nair or a fair. And then, like, you know, the he can have different timings on those aerials. Oh, nair specifically, depending if he fast falls or not. He's, he's weird. It's like, he doesn't seem good on paper, but, like, he's. I'll, like, lose games to him and be like, huh. I feel like I shouldn't have lost this stock to him. We're taking this so much damage out of nowhere. You know, like, it always feels harder to fight than it should be on paper. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Now, I feel like if you let him do his stuff, he becomes broken. But if not, mm-hmm. then he does struggle, like, a little bit. I feel like he's also pretty weird, like, to fight, like, physically. I don't know. Like, I feel like the way he mm. moves, like, the way he air dodges, like, the way he jumps, he just has, like, so many properties that are, like, that make him weird to fight. Yeah. Yeah. But like, that is also why it's kind of annoying punishing those kind of things. Because I also agree, Falco is kind of predictable. And I play till day sometimes online. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I even get mad because I'm like, bro, like, like that literally always happens. Like it's happening every single time and I can't do anything. But (laughs) but I'm pretty sure that that wouldn't be like, if I wasn't expecting it offline either, like I wouldn't be able to punish it offline. Like it, Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't an online thing. That's what it means. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, you get him off stage, and he he's Loki Fox, but worse. So, yeah, exactly. Mm, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, here's a shorter B, I think. All right. So, moving on to the A tier, uh, we're gonna start off with CSS. It's a little low, in my opinion. Oh, low, low, bro. You I, I see, see should the, be lower. I, I see the characters above her, and I'm like, maybe. You know, I, it, yeah, it's like well, it's, it's feels weird to put her this low, and then yeah, I look at the characters above her, and it's like I can kind of see. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's super good. Like, Carrie I just has did the same thing. thing. That's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just did the same thing because I was like, I looked at Bay, I was gonna be like, oh, but Bayo, and then I was like, wait, CSS doesn't have see? like bad within or witch time, so yeah. like, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Corin, no, Samus, Palu, Roy. I know Roy destroys Sirius. Oh yeah, yeah. She is uh, like Cloud. She's a lot of hard matchups against the oh. good characters. <sighs> yeah, I guess huh? I'm a Zerusu believer, but like, I guess, bro, that's the right placement. All the characters above her are just like ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous of the game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, this when you get to like the broken characters for sure. Yeah, yeah it's not like she has like waft like or like Mario's right there. Like, yeah, no. I mean, she got her stuff like Nair, Down B, and like her mobility, like tech chasing. But like, yeah. I feel like relying too much on tech chasing, I feel like she does a lot. And like, bro, sometimes Zero is going to stare you, but that's a 50 50. You just don't roll in and you don't die. That's, the, mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm, how it works. Mm-hmm. And low percentage, just, you just be it, careful because yeah. if you roll away, you get Nair, Down B. So just be careful. There's like a few things that could kill you. But if you, like, if the Zero doesn't beat you at the game, like, I feel like you win. Um, yeah, she, she's like annoying, right? Like, like <laughs> it's easy to just get frustrated with her and like do something dumb because you're frustrated. And it's like I can't hit her. She's just zaring and flip kicking and doing nothing. But like, yeah, she's not threatening as long as you just remember to stay patient and like yeah. let the openings pop up. I'm biased. She's my worst matchup. I'm not gonna talk. Oh yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna talk. Yeah, no. bro. <laughs> for my, for my <laughs> sister, it's like S plus plus tier. Yeah, no, she's better than Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but all right, I can understand where you guys are coming from because yeah, she is missing like a little bit compared to the other characters at least. So yeah, what do you guys think of Lucina? I, I actually think Lucina is a little bit lower. I put her like B plus nowadays, but like I think I'm always a bit of like a zero uh, a Lucina down player. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'm a Lucina down player as well. Uh, like you, you guys don't think she's that great, basically? No, no. I don't think she's but, bad. I just don't think she offers is, anything. Though. Yeah, it's funny because like when I play Lucina. I'm like, bro, what is this power? Like, this feels like this feels insane. Then you play yeah. her at tournaments against, like, for example, <laughs> yeah. Roy, right? Like, Roy is like a it's a similar character, super different on paper, but like, bro, like Roy kind of does the same thing, right? Like, destroys out of like a single hit if you get this arse, like the sweet spot. And you see Lucina, then you see Marth, and they just like they just really weird. Like, they don't compensate well. There's no like a good in between. 
So yeah, why yeah. using Lucina when there's like an option such as Roy? Again, not not saying that they're the same, but it's already the same archetype. Uh, I yeah, guess. I I do think she, funnily enough, even though she's like more consistent, I do think she struggles a little bit as well, like with killing, because like she gets a good backer, like okay, nice, or like a net smash read on normal get up, I don't know, but then mm. like that's it. <laughs> what else? Then, like yeah, she has yeah. like copy out of shield, I guess, but then. Nah. Yeah, I don't like know. She just, she just, does just stray just, moves. Yeah, just any okay. of the aerials. I feel like Marth at least is gonna is gonna kill you with up tilt, F tilt. Those kill like yeah. really early. But Lucina is just like a combo starter. Like if you want to use tilts, it's like a combo starter. Or like up tilt will kill like one fifty. F tilt will kill like one fifty mm-hmm. on the ledge. Like not even mm-hmm. one fifty sometimes. Um, I don't know. I feel like she is definitely predictable. And this is just like my opinion. I feel like down tilt works kind of weird. Because, like, you know the reason why Roy's down to and Mart's down to is good, right? Because of the Sour Spot. Yeah. Uh, Mart's Sour Spot down to sometimes lets you confirm stuff really late, right? At, like, one, 100, oh. 120. But, like, the fact that you're so inconsistent, you kind of do <laughs> Imagine if Lucina <laughs> had, like, like, the same down to. Like, if you down to someone at one four, 120, oh, they got off stage. Like, there's no way you get something out of that. Like mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. I guess the percentages are different, but like I'm just saying that it's not too consistent. Like the reads are not as good as like, oh, I'm getting tech chase by Crom, bro, your Marth. Like you're not that Yeah, scary. yeah. She's just too slow and the, the angle on it isn't good enough, like follow ups and percents you need it to get to give you follow ups. Yeah. She is pretty fun though. I don't think she's as boring. I'm I don't, I don't know about spectating her, but I think Use like playing as hair is pretty fun in my opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just simple kit. You press button in direction, and it's a good button. <laughs> just yeah. don't. Just people don't air dodge in a platform like against Lucina. If you're above Lucina and you're you're above a platform, don't air dodge. If you're like mm. you get Yosemite, that's like the worst thing that could happen to you in the Lucina match. Just, yeah. If you get up throw or down throw and there's a platform, don't air dodge. You're you're you mm-hmm, get mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. stuck. That's the only thing. All right, now we know how to be Lucina. Okay, so you want to talk about uh. Corin, right, Leo? I wanted to say something about Corin. Corin is funny because nowadays I've been playing Corin a little more again. Um, simply because I feel like there's a ton of matches where like she's just she's just so good at like anti like anti them. Does that make sense? Because like I do agree with Corin not being like the perfect character. Because I do struggle with Corin like against like, some people or like some situations. She's not perfect. That's what I'm saying. Like the fact that she can juggle you, frame trap, whatever, like that doesn't True. make her perfect. But like, bro, like she does good in some matches. Like she does good against Steve, Sonic, Game and Watch, Snake. I- I've seen all the Corns beating like or doing good against the Aegis. I've seen Shadig doing good against Zomba. Doesn't have a bad matchup against Peach. Fox is fine. I think she beats Diddy. She does good against Joker. Like I- I've seen a ton of characters that like is strong against Corn. But she's one of those characters that, like, she does better depending on who she plays. Does that make sense? Because, like, if she plays, I don't know, like, Violet, she's going to struggle against Violet, which is kind of funny. But she's going to do good against, like, other characters like Joker. So, mm. she's, so really, she's like a bracket, like, luck character. Yeah, she's, like, really anti-meta. That's how I like to call her. Because, like, you see Spargo, me, or, like, I mean, the solo main corns, right? Like. They do good, but not against everybody. And Spargo and I guess me only use her against some specific matchups. So maybe a secondary character, like if you call main Corrin, I can see like that being perfect. But like a solo main is 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 weird. Like I wouldn't recommend it, but I think Corrin could get better as the time progresses. Okay, so I think uh over here on the A tier side of things, um, what is Kazuya doing at A tier? Like, I think Kazuya is at least S tier, but I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, right? Right? I don't know. You're you're spinning. You're you're spinning. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. I do agree. That character could be losing, like, the entire game, and it kind of doesn't matter because, like, his reward is, his risk reward is, like, a lot more reward than the risk, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's never... Like risk for him relative to you. Mm-hmm. You just can't. exactly. Yeah. If you ever take an interaction with him, you're probably losing that game. No, not that stock that game because then it's gonna snowball out of control. Yeah, yeah. Uh. I don't know. I hate that character. I think I only have two characters in this game that I really want them to either get nerfed or reworked or whatever you want, and that's Steven Kazuya. Like not mm-hmm. even Sonic. I'm okay with Sonic. Like you can do whatever you want with him. Um, but like 
Really? Like, wh- why do they have to give him, like, everything, basically? Like, he has a shield breaker. He has a reflector. He has an invincible combo starter. He has a kill throw. He has... No, well, he has two kill throws, mm-hmm. actually. He has three kill throws, never mind, because he has a command grab that kills, combat mechanic. Um, no. And what else does he have? He has, like, an insane amount of combo routes. Like, he has a yeah. lot of them. And they all lead into, like, either death or pretendage. So, like, what? His aerials are, like, way too good. The fact that they combo into their combos. Like, why would an aerial combo into his grounded combo? Bro, like, okay, I'm not going to get hit by electric. Electric will only happen if he's on the ground. Okay, he's going to jump my time to punish. Oh, no, I go hit by something that's frame four. And I go hit by the same grounded move that I was careful about. So, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think my biggest issue, I don't know you guys, but my biggest issue with, like, electric is the fact that it stuns you, like, the same amount, regardless of your percent, you know? Because, like... When you're at zero, it still stuns you enough for you to get, like, comboed. And whereas CSS, if she stuns you with, like, Down Smash, for example, you won't get stunned for too long. And it makes sense because you don't have too much damage. Yeah. But with Kazuya, it's like, no, you're at zero? Oh, I'm going to paralyze you, like, as if you were at 80. Like, yeah, no. Damn. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah. It's not damage dependent. Yeah. No, no, we talk about Kazuya. I just get depressed because I just think about all the times I fight the character and I just mess up once. And I'm like, huh. Bro. And then I remember... That's why when I fight him, I time him out. I go into any Kazuya set <laughs> thinking, time out. No, that, that's it. <laughs> yeah. You, you, if you don't time him out, if you don't choose to never interact unless it's a amazing interaction for you where they can't punish you, you're losing. Mm-hmm. So I agree. Why, why was he added to the game the way he is? Yeah. Uh, well. You know what they could do? They can make Crouch Dash, like not spam. Oh, like, that's, you can do it that's so stupid. It makes him so fast. Yeah. Dude, he's actually so fast on the ground and invincible. And invincible, that's yeah. Like, why? I hope if, if there's another Smash game, like, if you don't want to remove it, fine, but please work around his stuff. Like, he doesn't need it. Make him normal, he has. Yeah, make him normal, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make him normal. <laughs> yeah, because, like, I mean, mm-hmm. I was feeling good about this, but I was watching some Tekken footage, and, like, I was like, okay, I understand why Kazuya is the way he is in Smash, but we're playing Smash. We're not playing Tekken. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, you got to, you know, tone him down a little bit, but, uh, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think the rest of eight tiers. Kind of fine otherwise, like just looking at it real quick. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I something so too. change, like worry a bit higher, sort of a bit lower, but like not significantly enough to care about. Exactly, yeah. Um, now we're gonna get into the, I guess, sort of juicy part. That's the S tier, that's the top tiers, that's the what people talk about all the time. Yeah, why is Peach up there? I was gonna say, what is Peach doing up there? Yeah, like, I don't know, you guys capping. I do think Peach is. Is, it belongs in there, a hundred percent. This is what top really? ten. Above, like, but but like, what is above, like, Diddy what is Joker? Diddy and Joker? That's that's the yeah. Point. Diddy and Joker do not belong in top ten. <laughs> I don't think they're both top ten. No, they're not top ten. Uh, <laughs> okay, Joker maybe not. Diddy though. Diddy, Diddy's. I feel like he, he deserves to be up there. You can put. You can keep Diddy there. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, you I, can I, keep I, him, but it shouldn't be. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean what, what characters do you put in there? Because I'm putting Kazu in there, and I'm putting either Min Min or Cloud in there to replace Joker. Um, mm. Same, yeah. Uh, any of those three that you mentioned? I'm, I'm a yeah. cap here, of course. I say Wario, but ignore me. I would say uh, Wario too, actually. I, I, I could see it. Okay, no, so, so we agree. <laughs> yeah. Let's remove okay. all that S minus and replace it with like Kazu, Min Min, Cloud, Wario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah basically, yeah, perfect. That that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. The other thing that I wanted to point out, like specifically me, is Game Watch is not top three. The like, hello, Game Watch is top two. <laughs> top <laughs> one. <laughs> so one. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I don't think you guys think he's better than Aegis. Like, no, 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 no. I, yeah, no. What you think, think so? I feel like the thing about Game Watch, he has some hard matchups for sure. But if you go into a bracket. You're more likely to run into a free bracket with Game Watch because you have some polarizing matchups. Whereas Aegis, you're not as likely to just get like an easy bracket because you just lose with him sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, like, in that regard, like, maybe Peak Aegis is a better character. But, like, when you have to worry about, like, not doing bad or well, doing good in a bracket, Game Watch is so much more reliable in that regard. Well, I guess I had never thought about it that way, actually. Because, like, I just thought of, like, if an Aegis has to run into, I don't know, Pikachu. Like, okay, yeah, Pikachu for me is, like, whatever. So... Or even Steve. Yeah. How does Pyramithria do versus Steve? Like even I'll say doesn't lose to them. But the bus you've been using, so. Steve. What do you think? Um, I can see that Steve can cheese the 
You're living hell out of Egypt. <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> that's the thing, bro. That's 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 like it's that's it's Steve being Steve, and that's like Egypt being Egypt. Does that make sense? So yeah. yeah, like like I would go as far as to say I think Steve beats Aegis when played right. But it still is is one of the possible matchups. Like Aegis yeah. can beat yeah. Steve for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think pretty much any character in S tier can beat Steve, besides except maybe Diddy. Fox it, or Diddy. Yeah, except or Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> Definitely not Diddy. Yeah, I mean Fox is a maybe, but Diddy for sure not. I feel like Peach should be getting farmed by Steve as well. Mutis is just good in the matchup. Yeah, that that is true as well. Yeah. Do you guys think Rob is top six? Whatever this is, I, I think he should be where um, Snake is. I would put him as four. I think Rob is top ten for sure. Up, top six. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, like he's he's really good. No, like yeah. I would just literally bump Rob up where Snake is, and then I think that top six is perfect. Really good overall. Yeah, I guess so. I my only change would be like literally Aegis where Game of Watch is, and that's it. But like, yeah, I almost feel like the S tier could have just been those two top tiers, and like the S minus could have been put into the A plus or something. <laughs> with yeah. how like the difference in character strength is in those specific yeah. parts of the list. Yeah, that's that's the tier list. Um. I mean, no comments on Sonic. Obviously, we all know. We yeah. just wait, wait, real quick. Do you think Sonic could be better than Steve long term? No, not long term. No. Yes, I do. No, I do. No, I do believe. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, conflicting opinions here. I, I would. <laughs> I think it would be long term, but like, no. Long. Term. I just think Steve players actually do need to step it up and do more broken stuff because they all just go for like the jab thingies and like the jab one into forward air and that's it. But like none of them, besides like maybe two. Do the kneel into like up smash thing ever? Like yeah. up to kneel up smash, like that confirms and kills you at any percent, basically. Up to up to yeah. what? 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 Say it again. Kneel up to kneel up smash. Okay, kneel, kneel is the that when you put the block in the, no. immediately. Yeah, it, it's Whoa. when you like do like you know, like yeah. yeah, I know what it means. That's why I was like, wait, wait, wait. Did I? Yeah, yeah nobody, so, nobody does that. That that's that's good to know that nobody does. Yeah. yeah, and like literally, no one does it. It's how I lost to uh. I, I don't know how to pronounce this tag. It's Soar, Soar. 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 Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah Soar. Um, yeah. I lost to him that way last Genesis because, like, every time I died, he would kneel me. And I easily died to that. I'm not even kidding, like, eight times. Because he's the only yep. Steve I've seen that is consistent at that. And, like, at that point, it's like you can get up tilted at 70 and you die from yep. any point yep. on stage because it's an up smash. Yep. It, it's like it's not too hard to do. The main thing is, like, recognizing, like, you got the hit and, like, going for it. And if you drop it, you lose, like, your advantage state. So, like, you have to know you're going to hit it, you know? Because if you don't hit it, then you just get no damage off that up tilt. Oh, so yeah. So, that's why Steve players don't do it. But... Yeah. No, I agree. If they were better at the technical stuff, which is... It's both not difficult, but difficult in, like, the heat of the moment to consistently do. Yeah. I'm also going to give, like, some bad advice. <laughs> some unhealthy advice over here. But, Steve players, please start using PMLG a lot more. I've been playing... I'm not even kidding. Two Steves and Elite Smash that have PMLG'd me, I recorded it, it is PMLG. Even though tournaments go like, yeah, this is gonna get banned, it's so hard to tell if it was PMLG or just the moves not working, so I'm not, it. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't know if I, what I saw is like misinformation on Twitter, but I'm pretty sure I saw someone mentioning that that is legal at Genesis, right? Oh yeah, it's not bad, there's no rules against it at Genesis, yep. Bro, I can't wait till like at some point Akko wins the tournament by PLMG and a combo and downering out of it. Imagine and then we can actually have the talk. Imagine doing that to to Cloud Side B, something like that. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, bro, I died. Like, 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 like Sparkle's living cross legend and it's like, oh, yeah. he's in the blue <laughs> And then I'm like, like oh. falls out. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, like <laughs> bro, you, you you know Twitter, you can't go on that for like a month after Sparkle. Yeah, yeah. You, bro, I would be like this in my chair for Sparkle. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, yeah, I, I expected this. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Steve oh, players, man. please start doing more stuff. Like, I, yeah, no, just just do it, okay? Just, just please do it. We, we know you can do it. Just do it. Yeah, it's not like you guys need to, because, like, what Steve does is enough. You don't have to do the complicated stuff. But, like, if they did it, the character is low-key unbeatable. Um, anyways, mm -hmm. but that's the tier list. And since we're talking about Genesis, <laughs> Genesis is coming up. And... Depending on when this episode releases, you guys may be watching before or while we're there. So, guys, what do you all think about Genesis coming up? First of all, yeah, regarding Steve. Steve is not banned, first of all. And there's no PMLG ban either towards it. So, yeah, any thoughts? Any comments? I mean, I, I don't have a Steve in my bracket anyway, so, you know, it doesn't affect me much. 
Yeah, I think Akola is not going to Genesis, so that's 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 fine. I'm you know I'm annoyed about. It. I'm kind of sad. It's only best of three pools. Like I get it, it's Genesis after run like everything. But like Farmer pools only being best of three. It's like uh, okay. it's used like best of five from like less big big moves and uh, collision. No, Luminosity big big moves and Luminosity makes moves Miami. So it's like going back to best of three. Eh. Yeah, collision also does full best of five. Rising grind does full best of five. There's just a lot more tournaments that do full best of five nowadays. And like I mean. It's round one pool, so I don't yeah. know. Like, I know this it's a lot of people. Big, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's too big. I like. I feel like it's doable, though, right? Right? Like, it's just... I feel like... It, I don't think it has that much time to the sets. And, like, th these are stacked round one pools. Like, I've, I'm looking at them, and I'm like, there's, like, good players, like, in all the pools. Like, there's going to be some upsets in close matches. Yeah, best of three... <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I'm against best of three overall in Smash, especially with the state of the meta right now. <laughs> but uh, whatever it is what it is yeah all right do you guys like your brackets though or are you just like stressing out about it's them? the same bracket i've been having since lmbm and since miami so i yeah, yeah i just have to practice for the same people for the third time in a row you know i'm fighting sonics again at some point if i beat zachary's pit and i'm like i keep running into sonic every event i go to <laughs> i fight sonic oh like God. It's, it's sonics or maybe ken or ref and just like can I please stop getting Sonic? That please. is <laughs> not it, bro. Oh, my God. It's so... Uh, yeah, it's a rough one. I got to fight up. And before that, I had to fight Kazuya into like, uh, Cosmos. Uh, or, or another... I might fight two Kazuyas back to back. That is not it. No, 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 no. I would DQ and Luminosity. You would have to understand. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get fired. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you see this? See, my sort of DQ out of this. I'm going to DQ out of this now. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> no, Leo, you have a tough bracket too. I saw yeah, you I, play winner I, of shoot on Kurama. Yeah, but before that, my bracket gets hard. Like before that, I gotta play Jackal, which funny enough, I lost to Jackal last time I played him. Oh, or really? Justice. Yeah, your Justice, Min Min. Wait, when Ooh. did you play Jackal? Crown. The crown. Oh, you did. Oh, oh, but you wouldn't mention it. Whatever. Um. So <laughs> besides that, so I play. I play the. The Min Min, Justice, Jackal, or... Then after that, I think I play Neo. No, no, lie, no offense to Neo, of course, but Corrin, ooh, give me that. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Min Min or Corrin. Oh, Corrin. Nice. Oh, my God. Um, and then I got Kurama or Shuton. And then winner of the Sonics, the boss, Zachary Gunwood. And and that's not even top eight qualifier. That is to get to the match before top eight, I believe, right? Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, because I should be playing you, the Buzz, you, the Buzz, Zachary, Sonics, or Beast Mode Paul for top eight. Okay, yeah, that is pretty crazy. Like, oh my god. We'll have to play Mia if I beat Mutes. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, Game of Zero. That sounds fun. That, that's <laughs> going to be the hypest set of the tournament. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No. Not have you played Mia in bracket before? Not in bracket, just at the crew battle at Battle of BC. Uh, I that sounds like a funny matchup. I'm I'm excited for it. I'm I feel bad for you, but I'm excited to get a chance to witness it. <laughs> well, um, I'd be excited if it weren't for the fact that every event that we're at, we always get seated to play against each other, and at this point, it just looks intentional. So I'm a little annoyed mm -hmm. at that, but whatever, it's what it is. The seeders need content. That that's how they do it, bro. Me me into shoot on. Please, bro. Or Mario. It's like Kurama or Shuton. It's like Mario or yeah. Shuton, bro. Yeah, like that's it. <laughs> dude, like, come on. Dude, <laughs> on a more like hot topic, I have to play Syrup. I, this is like the third oh, time I get seated into no, Syrup. No, no, no. Bro, oh my <laughs> God. They, they, bro, they, they do that intentionally. They, bro. Oh, no, they do. Dude, the, yeah. the seeders are yeah. fuller. <laughs> Clearly try to cause some chaos yeah. for the YouTube comments. Because listen, uh, videos later. maybe they don't. Oh, yeah. Like, the let's give them the benefit of the doubt that they don't. But this is like the second to third time in a row that it happens. So at this point, it's hard not to think that it's not intentional, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little annoyed. And it is getting pretty tiring. But, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah, let's just do our best. Win top eight. And K K KBBQ after. Oh, Ooh. yeah, it's California. So KBBQ yeah. is great. I know of your KBBQ like near the area. I'm gonna send the address to you. Well, um, any last comments, anyone, on what you guys? What do you guys want for Genesis? Actually, what do you guys want for Christmas, boys? Haha. -ha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you guys aiming for? I know, Leo. I know you're aiming for the repeat of the tournament for the for the dub. Yeah, uh, it's, I mean... it's a tough bracket, bro. But it, this is like the hypest I've ever been. 
at a hard bracket because like yeah. we were mentioning it, right? Like it's kind of intentional or like, even if it's not, like it's still, I guess, fun. Like when do I get the chance to play shoot on? Like mm. the fact that I never beat him is because I don't play that much. Like I haven't played shoot on that much. I played like twice. So I'm yeah, excited exactly. and, and we'll see what happens. Like, of course, go step by step. Of course, the, the goal is to win, but let's make it out of pools first. Let's make top eight first. Like, like bro, yeah, it's a hard step trim. Step. Yeah. Like, like every mm-hmm. set could be like that set, you know? Like every set is important. Like, mm. yeah, it would be hype. Yeah. Yeah, what about you, the boss? I mean, my goal is always to try and win an event, you know? That's just, at the end of the day, it's either win or the event Um, next time. You know, we go again. That's how it is. But it's like, I have our bracket. Um, So really, I just want to be playing well when I'm playing. Because like, if I lose and I'm playing badly, it just feels awful because yeah. it's like oh i know i could have done better i'm not gonna learn from it but like at least if i'm playing well and i lose it's like no all right okay i can learn from this. exactly like fine whatever i just you know i need to be better at the video game for sure but yeah honestly i've been stressing out going to the event i've been like you know doing my vod reviews like prepping matchups all that such as practicing a lot so i'm very stressed going into this and hopefully it doesn't kill me but i'm gonna try my <laughs> best there um I, I think at least top eight is what i want minimum if i do think better than that like let's go but I don't know. I, I always get stuck like ninth with these big events lately. So that's it's nice to break that curse. I'm aiming for top eight as well. Mainly because I top eight at Genesis only once in my life. I, like it felt really good. But then after that, I got like 25th because I decided to go full Sora at that one Genesis. And then, yeah, I guess <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then last year I got 17th or 13th. I can't remember, but I... I mean, at least it was better than the previous the one to the previous one. So I want to get top eight at least this time because I miss being in Genesis top eight. So, yeah. And this year's no, in the no, theater. No. So, oh, yeah. And this year's in the theater. So it means yeah. a lot more as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That theater is really cool to be on. Oh, yeah. It feels nice to oh, play yeah. in there. Like, it feels sure. nice to win in there. Oh, it feels nice God. to win in there. Yeah, it does. But top eights at like big tournaments are always great. Like, Having all the crowd watching you, like, uh, hyping him up simply because you did something crazy with your character. I feel like that's one of the best experiences in a tournament ever. I don't know what it would do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. Ah, but, all, all right. right. Well, yeah. All right. That was, that was the tier list. Oh, Lumi rank official tier list. Kind of troll, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah, please push it. Push it, bro. Push it. Push. Just like people so mash that. Just, just like people think Diddy Kong is top 10 in the game. That is absolutely yeah. crazy. But thank you so much for watching. Like the video. <laughs> hit the bell, subscribe. Leave a comment on why Diddy Kong should be in top 10. Uh, your opinion, I guess. And we'll see you next time. All right. Peace out, everyone. Hope you enjoyed me on the show.